Graveyard Blues Radio Network. I'm Jerry Schaefer on a Sunday night. Thanks for hanging out with me and my special guest tonight in the studio, Motu. And they have a live one, too. We talked about it being tax day, April 15th. So we have a special one from the band now in that vein. Yeah, we don't get, we don't get uh, too, uh, too much of a chance to play this song. I mean, it's on our eighth album. Um, and like I said, we're up to album number 12. So we haven't played this song in a while. But uh, being that it's April 15th, absolutely, it gives us an opportunity to play this song. It's called Refund Check. So kind of self-explanatory. It's an original. Here it goes. And we never played. I never played this on slide before, too. So this is another graveyard another blues exclusive. exclusive. <laughs> I normally don't play it on slide guitar, but so this will be interesting. All right, graveyard blues. <laughs> Not so many bills. It's a pain in my neck. But the tax man, he gone and sent me a check. Got my IRS check. Got my government check. I got my refund check. And man, we're gonna have some fun. Come on, baby, put away those blues. Let's go out, put on your Sunday shoes. Got my IRS check. My government check. I got my refund check, and man, we're gonna have some fun. Two live on Graveyard Blues on the Graveyard Blues Radio Network and uh, government check refund check, refund uh, check government refund check, check government oh. mule you know the whole deal on uh, April fifteenth uh, <laughs> got your government check <laughs> and, and you know that check is getting smaller every year every yeah. year because it's, they're finding a way to you know <laughs> right to uh, take away every deduction you could possibly get you know? yeah I know. Uh, that was not a good though on the slide, and that's uh, that's a first. Never been yeah. done that way. It's not done on slide on the uh, on the. Eight, we did this on the eighth album, so mm-hmm. it's definitely not done on slide. It was full band with more of a Stevie Ray Vaughan kind of a right. thing going on. Uh, so yeah, this is first. We never tried it. We never practiced it that way. A WRCN yeah. exclusive. That's right. That's right. <laughs> we like that. Yeah. Uh, so you you <laughs> talked about Stevie Ray Vaughan style and stuff. You have a lot of. Fa- I mean, like you know. Uh, I, I guess Muddy Waters is one of your biggest influences because I, I know. Didn't yeah. you do a whole like uh, show based on uh, a Muddy stuff? Or I haven't done it in a while, but right. yeah, we for for a good portion of a year, maybe two years ago, we that's pretty much all we did. We yeah. did we uh, we're doing tributes to a lot of the greats, some Robert Johnson stuff, Muddy Waters, but we basically did Muddy Waters is actually more contemporary than right. some of the older ones. I mean, you know, I mean he he, he was. Well, electric for one thing. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he went really, electric. Yeah. I mean, but so we we uh, uh, we even took some of his electric stuff and 
went backwards with it. Went mm-hmm. more like you know Delta South acoustic. But uh, yeah, we were doing the whole shtick yeah. on that, and uh, it's something I really love. I grew up with it. Uh, uh, you know, it's funny. I was playing slide guitar when I was 18 years old, and then I got away from it. Mm-hmm. I don't know why. For whatever reason, you know, you, you just, just change style. And, and then, you know, uh, I just sort of naturally went back to it and discovered, you know, this is something I love doing, and I just reawakened. Mm-hmm. And uh, I don't think we've we've really done much of the Muddy Waters thing in the last year. I mean, I might whip out a song every now and then, but it's but the whole show thing with the of that Delta is something we might resurrect again in the future because it was a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. You know, it was a uh, it was strictly a blues show, and yeah. it had a very obviously a very niche audience. Right. You know, because uh, we were playing songs that unless you we're into that era and dug that area you didn't recognize anything we were doing right. <laughs> <laughs> unless you did like crossroads or something when crossroads could, people or something remember, that was done by somebody the lyrics else. but not the yeah. way you did it right yeah but we you know we try to stay away from that stuff yeah i mean about the closest thing we came to uh, uh that kind of thing is we did king b which was you know obviously muddy did with the rolling stones right and, and slim harper did it and all those and eric clapton yeah. did some stuff we also did little red rooster howling wolf thing which was made famous by a lot of people right. you know grateful dead eric clapton right. uh, you know a lot of people did that but um a, a lot of people don't really recognize the original you know thing you know mm-hmm. it's it's a uh, uh, little red rooster is a really i mean howling wolf was yeah. amazing i mean it's, right, there's nothing voice, you can yeah. say about even by today's standards but right. even, take today's standards he's amazing you right. know I mean, you know, there was stuff he was doing. I'm, I'm not going to get into the whole song here and everything, but I mean, there was stuff he was doing, like, uh, you know, uh, like uh, uh, he did a, sh- a shtick that at the time um, uh, Muddy made famous, like with Rolling and Tumbling, right? But he had his thing with, with Hubert Sumlin and, uh, and, and other guys were doing this riff where it was like, you know. And the thing is funny, if you went to any place around that time in Chicago and everything, they were all doing that riff. Right. And there's, it's kind of funny because there's like about three or four songs written around that riff, the most famous obviously being Rolling and Tumbling. Right. But, you know, everybody, they were all like copying each other and they were all like, and they were, they were being inventive. And, you know, you hear that, sh- that, that, that riff and you go, yeah, okay, that's cool. I've heard that before. But, you know, the first guy that really came up with that, that was brilliant. Right. I mean, it was just a brilliant use of, of a guitar that was not being done before. So, yeah, that, that, whole, uh, that whole Delta thing that we got into and everything, it was good. I had a lot of fun with it. Uh, we are going to do something as a workshop later in the year, which is a Delta uh, blues kind of education workshop, which we're going to do for, you know, again, with the movement to try to get more young people noticed right. in it. 